guys welcome to this new episode of singles get ready today we are going to be talking about mental preparation before marriage hey a lot of married people out there feel frustrated in their homes because they didn't prepare mentally before they get into marriage they didn't they were not matured enough mentally before they got into marriage it's a good thing it's another whole thing to be a man and it's also a different issue to be a husband and a father it's an easy thing to be a woman, but it's a difficult thing to be a wife and a mother tomorrow. And being a wife and a mother or being a husband and a father are those things that you cannot, you can't do without if you intend to get married. Because one way or the other when you get married, you're a wife and obviously you will be a mother. So you can't escape these two phases and it's important. So if you must succeed if you must be a good wife you must be a good mother then you need to prepare adequately mentally to accept the challenges that come with it because marriage is not a pack of it's not a plain pack marriage is not a plain pack and if you must make a difference in your family in terms of marriage then you need to prepare adequately before you get into it if you're just clicking on this video why not subscribe hit the red subscribe button down there give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below but don't forget to hit your bell so that you get notified each time we drop a video so before we go into the three ways that you need and the three things that you need to do in order to be prepared adequately mentally before you get into marriage i just want to ask these three questions out there to those who are engaged and those singles who are praying and believing god for marriage i want to ask all the men like are you ready for a selfless life like no are you ready to go out there under the sun under the rain you work your heart and money and bring it home to feed or meet the needs of other people other people are saying i'm talking about your children your wife your family because if you have this stingy mind then i don't think you're mentally ready to get into this marriage if you have this this idea of mine only my myself 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 then i don't think you're ready i don't think you're ready and i think this video is for you so keep watching to the end i want to ask the second question to our girls out there who are ready and believing god for marriage like are you ready to get pregnant are you aware that if you get pregnant and carry for nine months it means you will not be able to wear the jean trousers the sexy dresses you put on you will not be able to post as sexy pictures on social media are you aware that when you get pregnant it means you can't eat the kind of things you like are you also aware that you can't do the makeup that you love doing, your nails, your everything, because your face is going to be swollen or pimples or oily? You understand? You just get tired necessarily. Like you can't wear the heels you used to wear. You can't hold the bat and do all the good and funny things I used to do. Are you ready for that? Don't think that when you get pregnant, you continue wearing that jean trouser. You continue wearing that heels. You continue, you know, like eating the kind of things you want to eat. Don't be surprised that the soya you love eating, you will start finding yourself eating bitter leaf. Yes. So, are you both ready to face the pressure that comes with marriage? The house chores that's involved. The in-law saga that's involved. Like, are you guys ready for parenthood? Because if you're not ready for that, if your answers to these three key questions are no, then I think you need to restrain your steps and prepare adequately, mentally, if you need to succeed and enjoy your home so that you don't get depressed and you don't get frustrated in your marriage so let's talk about the three things that you need to do in order to prepare mentally before faith i do the first of which is educate your mind educate your mind yeah educate your mind and this goes especially to my christian sisters and brothers you know most christian singles today hide under the canopy of biblical revelations only for them to end up being educated, illiterate, and drop out. Because if you guys must succeed in your marriage, then you need to be educated. You need to educate your mind. Educate your mind. Listen, someone out there might say, you know what? I might not have education, but I have revelation. Yeah, you have revelation. That's good for motivation anyway. But then, if you need to make it well, if you need to enjoy then you need to do this. Listen. Revelation plus good education equal to exaltation and freedom from shame and reproach. You got me? Freedom from shame and reproach. So you need to embrace education so that you will not be limited. So educate, educate 
your mind. The second thing you want to do so that you are mentally matured and ready to say I do is enlighten your mind. Learn to enlighten your mind. You know, someone once said that a good Christian is that who holds a newspaper in one hand and holds the Bible in another hand. Why? Because when you hold the newspaper in one hand, you find the problems, you identify the problems from the newspaper. And from the Bible, it offers you the solution to those problems. So don't be that kind of a person who hides, who hides under revelation or you know under Christianity that you, you, you are not you, you are not even sure of to say that you're ready mentally. A lot of Christians are so backward. Because they don't want to renovate their mind. They don't want to enlighten their mind. They don't want to think out of the box. Now somebody will ask me, how do you enlighten your mind? It's simple. We are in the 21st century. We have the possibility to make use of all the wonderful and exceptional materials that are set before us. For us to succeed in marriage. In the past, most of our parents, they were just given out in marriage. They didn't even go to school. They have nobody to talk to. They have no internet. They have no money to afford the phones and everything. But today, you have the money. You've got the phone. You've got the internet, the data. You've got all the resources that you need to read books. If you can't buy books, go on the internet and download books. PDF, download books that talk about relationships, marriage, dealing with a family life and all of that. Raising godly children and all of that. They are books. Watch educated tips. Now what I'm doing, watch the videos. Don't just click on it and then if it's not telling you about some kind of makeup or it's not telling you about some kind of pornography or if it's not a spa that's on Instagram and then you'll be like, it's not necessary, it's not important. There are so many tips on the internet, so many videos on the internet you can watch and you learn from it. Stop wasting your internet. Stop wasting your time on Instagram, on Facebook, and maybe looking at clothes, different designs, and everything. It's not going to change you. It's not going to increase your break you. It's just going to make you feel like you're on top. Meanwhile, you are not. You are beneath. So please, enlighten your mind. Read books, read magazines, watch tapes. Why not even talk? Talk to people who you know that they can be of help in a particular issue. That's how you enlighten your mind. So we're going to talk about the third thing you need to do, which is the last one, which is really something that I need to say. I think I've said this in my previous video also, that you need to eradicate the wrong philosophies that you have about marriage. You need to cancel it. That your parents were not the most, you know, the most comfortable example of what marriage is doesn't mean that your own is going to be like that. That your uncle, your family members, or your sisters got married to husbands who are not the best, you know, or your brothers got married to wives who are not the best doesn't mean that you will get married to a man who is not good enough. Or you get married to a man who is that way. That's their own cross. So if you want to be outstanding, you want to differentiate yourself, you need to work on it. You need to work before you get into it. Because the Bible said that as far as you can see, you know, God said to Abraham, as far as you can see, that means he had to do with his mentality. It means he had to see beyond his eyes. It means he had to work on his mentality. And whatever he sees is what he will have. And let me tell you something, like maybe you don't know about it. Anything and everything that happens to you is something that you have built in your mind already. It's something you've built in your mind. You've conceived it, you've nurtured the idea, and now it's time to make it manifest. It's now time for you to see it, to see it being realized in front of you. So if you don't want it, if you don't want to have that bad experience that your parents have, that bad experience that your friends have, then you have to eradicate the wrong mentality that you have about marriage. Marriage is a straight thing. So I don't care whoever told you that marriage is a bitter thing. I don't care whoever told you that marriage is a graveyard that you keep on crying and crying and crying. No, I don't care whether to that marriage is a marriage is something that downrates you. It's something that's going to make you look like a slave. No, I don't care about that. So you've got to eradicate that, that mentality and take it off. That's the worldly mentality. You have to take it out of your mind. Some people think that like women are devils, you know, like it's very bad to think that way. I don't know where you got it. I don't know how or where you saw it. You know, like I don't really give a damn about it. But I'm telling you, you've got to remove that ideology that you have, that mentality that you have. Because if you go into marriage with that mentality that women are devils, you will never appreciate or value your wife. Everything your wife is going to do for you is going to be negative, negative. Like, you will make that woman go into depression. She will spend all her life doing everything to please you at her own detriment and at the detriment of your children. 
and your family, your future, jeopardizing your future of your children and that of your family just because you cannot accept the truth that your wife is good, she's the best thing that's ever happened to you, simply because your friend's wife cheated on him. So you just think that women are devils. Now, you think that men are dogs, men are cheat. No matter everything you do, a man will cheat. No, listen, it's not, I really don't know where guys are getting this philosophy from because the Bible did not say that men are cheat. So I don't know where you're getting this idea. It's, it's so poor and so, it's, it's so bizarre, like the freshman says, to hear a Christian, a born again girl, telling you that men are cheat, all men cheat, and all of that. It's, it's disgusting for me to hear it, and I will always go against it. I will, anywhere I stand, just know me, know me, I will always go against it. Like, you need to work on it. Remove that demonic philosophy that you have that all men are cheat. It's amazing. If you say all men are cheat and all men are dogs, then why are you going to get married to that dog? Why are you going to get married to that man that cheat? Why? You can just stay you single. Nobody's gonna put a gun on your head. Like you, you, you ought to get married. No one is gonna put a gun on your head. So you can just stay and enjoy your life the way it is and get married to that dog. You know, like get married to that man. And if you get married to someone today and you don't remove that mentality, that philosophy that you have, for example, that men are dogs, men are cheats. Listen, the day your husband goes on an errand or a trip and it happens that he has a uh, some little failure with his car and everything so he had to sleep over at his friend's place or he had to sleep maybe in one hotel or so listen that night as a good wife you will not be concerned about maybe his security he how is he or oh, is he what happened he had an accident no this is what you're going to be concerned you're going to be, be like you're going to be like eh he, he has not come home eh, because he went to angelica eh, he surely he surely with angelica angelica is only pressing this they're suddenly talking to each other they are doing this they are having sex they are catching fun and do that and if you're not careful each time you have that mentality, the next thing you do is that one, you know, the devil is very, you know, he's very, you know, very innovative. The devil is very innovative. He, he, he's going to make sure that what your game will just pass in front of you. Or maybe he's going to make sure that the, your, the, you know, your brother, you know, who probably was living with you is going to come to your room. And before you know it, you'll be like, let me do it. After that's what my husband is doing there. Not knowing that you had wrong, wrong, wrong idea and ideology. And that's what has broken many homes today. Just imagine that scenario I'm telling you, and then your husband comes the next day to catch the gay man or his brother or, I don't know, his best friend in bed with you. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to pass out of that home. It's quite a huge disgrace. Not for you alone, but for your family. Because of the mentality that you have, the wrong philosophy that you have, it's enough. Listen, all of these things we're sharing on this, on the, on this video, so it's not like it might be something insignificant to you, but if you conceive it, you nurture it, it grows in you. Obviously, one day it will become a reality. And when it becomes a reality, there will not be any turning back. So, my guys, my ladies out there, you need to change that mentality. Don't let anyone put things in your head that men, women are like this, marriage is like this, marriage is like this, marriage is a cage, it's somewhere you can't be free, it's slavery. Especially for some women, they will look like marriage is slavery because the fetish is for meat. I'll do another video, like it's a whole kind of video talking about submission and everything, but we're going, definitely we're going to get to that. So today, this is what we're going to talk about mental preparation i believe that if you take key care and understanding on the things you need to do to be mentally prepared three things you stated educate your mind enlighten your mind and eradicate the wrong philosophies about marriage then you are set mentally to go into marriage so in the next video we're going to be talking about social preparation you wouldn't want to put that video for anything guys that video is going to be the bomb so please don't miss it out and if you're just, just, just clicking, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit your bell so that you get notified as we're going to be dropping our next video. Guys, follow me on Instagram as Mommy Olivia on Facebook, Mommy Olivia. My Facebook page is still Olivia so that we can get going together get going together so from me to you is peace and love and see you in the next video